So was moving house six months before the Olympics a good idea? It's a major trade-off. One is probably one of the most stressful things you can do alongside the wedding. We did both within a month, um, super stressful. And then the other thing was, was that we bought a doer upper, so it needed an absolute ton of work, which kind of made it a little bit more stressful. It puts unneeded stress that you need before an Olympics. Um, but again, we've made such big gains over the last few weeks of being in here. So why was it so essential? I think the number one pro will definitely have to be the distance traveled. When we were living in the old house and we're now in the new house, it was crazy, crazy amounts of travel. When you're doing sort of an hour to train in, then having to train and then an hour back, when you do that four times a week, it just adds up. The 15 minutes now makes such a difference. And also there's also the benefits, little things like even getting to the airport to Gatwick was always, not only was it expensive, it took me forever. When you're an athlete, when you're on the circuit, if you're racing once or twice a week, you kind of need to be close to the airport. So now it's a 20 minute journey as opposed to an hour. And being close to my training group, I can do more stuff with my team, with my group. Um, and overall life's just 10 times easier. But let's have a look at the process. It was, um, <laughs> it was a stressful one, but we're getting there slowly, slowly. I think the brakes have seized. Today is moving day. I think it's, it's 7.20, we've been up since six. Kids are just waking up now. But I think it's safe to say we don't have any intention of moving again because if you look at the house, quite stressful. We got, so we exchanged contracts on Thursday, at, no, Wednesday at 4.30 and then we were told that we're moving at, they wanted to complete at one o'clock so we couldn't get a removal company in time. So we've had to do it ourselves. So this is the living room. This doesn't even look, look too bad. Um, Half of it's out already. Yeah, but, I can show you the kitchen. Kitchen's still a mess. We've got loads of stuff still to put in boxes and stuff to take out the cupboards. Glasses, don't really know how we're going to tackle them, but. We are planning to leave the fridge, so that's staying. Yeah. And then we're taking the oven, washing machine. Let's have a look at the van. This is the problem. It's already very full. And it's a big vehicle, too. I'm in the house now. Meg and the kids have um, abandoned me. They're staying at Meg's parents. <laughs> Milo's still with me. And uh, it's funny, I'm sitting here watching the boxing. This is the press conference. Oh, sorry, we don't have any heating. Yeah, so there's no boiler or anything. So we're having to use this oil heater here. And also the Dyson over there, which is actually really good and pumping out some really big heat. I'm gonna try and call this chimney sweep tomorrow to try and get this sorted. But in truth, it was one heck of a day. I can't believe how much we did. We had a, I think our best quote to do with the whole whole thing was about, I think the cheapest to just to pack and unpack was a thousand pounds and to do the full job was like 2000 and we did it ourselves for about 200 pounds. But I'm gonna be honest, I think it's probably worth a thousand pounds. I mean, it was so hard. Yeah, I'm gonna say I, it's probably worth the money. Maybe not the two grand quote, if to do literally everything, but I definitely think it's worth paying a grand. Um, because the stress moving is, I don't want to move again, but this house is beautiful. I'll show you again in the morning what it looks like. I'll take you for a tour. And I'm blown away. I am bowled over and I'm incredibly excited. Um, I just, I'm excited to drive to wake up tomorrow and, and only have to travel 15 minutes of training as opposed to an hour. I'm excited to finish training and only have to travel 15 minutes home so I can cross train again without feeling fatigued. I'm excited the idea of being able to train and then travel 15 minutes home and actually get some decent lunch rather than going to the petrol station or having to bulk it. There's just so many problems with this. I mean, yes, we stretch ourselves financially. Yes, the house is run down and it's a mess, but boy, is it exciting to be in something that has real potential. Young boy from Hansworth. Honestly, I'm sitting here right now and I just feel proud and I, I'm so excited for my parents to come home, over and see it. I mean, it's not, it needs a lot of work, but I, I'm proud of, I'm pr yeah, I'm incredibly proud. It's probably hard to understand unless you come from a different, a similar background, but yeah, I feel like we're, I thought I would feel a different feeling, but I, I feel content where I am now, but I, then I just feel like now I'm just moving on to the next goal, um, which is pretty sad really. I thought I'd, thought I'd enjoy it more, but now to do up the house and enjoy it. If you guys ever saw the hassle we had to go through to get this fridge, definitely wasn't worth it. The guy knocked off 50 quid, so it was on for 400, and we got it for 250 in the end but it, it was brand new. 
almost brand new, sorry, but it's been brewing since trying to like pick it up and now take off doors to get it in the house. So big and bulbous. That's what she said. <laughs> God, look how big and bulbous it is. It comes out so far. I had no idea it was that, that deep. I feel like we should have gone for a smaller fridge now. Oh, shit, now. So about four weeks in now since we've moved, um, since we've been here. Sorry about the snot in here. Um, he's a Frenchie, you can't help it. I've now had my biggest mileage week ever last week, 61 mile I think I hit. Um, but th the difference is, is that I'm not having to travel as much. And I know it sounds and I keep repeating myself, but saving eight hours a week in travel has made such a big difference. And I'm actually on track to even having a bigger week this week. Um, and I'm convinced it's purely just the travel. Um, I would have supplemented it anyway with the with the cross training. So it's not like I'm, I'm doing any less. It's just a different style of training that I'm able to do now. And hopefully it means that when it comes to hitting the rounds and doing consecutive days of, of racing, if when it comes to it in the champs, I, in theory, my body will be more conditioned rather than just doing the cross training all the time and I think the move has been a good thing I think I hope we'll find out and I'm in that phase of training now and I look at my eyes it get a bit closer look how how bloodshot they are I'm just feeling beat up I mean three hits a day twice a day every day I'm pretty much so Monday is three Mondays two hits Tuesdays three hits Wednesdays two hits Thursdays three hits Friday's a day off Thursday's three hits and then Sunday's just a, a nice long run. Um, Sundays are like 14 miles, so it still beats me up. I'm, I'm, I'm not running them very quick, but man, trying to do that, balance family life, working on the bikes at the moment just feels like it's just rough because my brain just isn't functioning because of the fatigue. But yeah, there's a balance. But I think what I need, to, I probably need to figure out fueling now. That's a, that's a definite thing because I keep bunking. I keep having like massive crashes because I'm just not fueling right. And then I need to figure out how I can just be more smart with my nutrition so that I've got a bit more energy because I'm just wiped out 24 seven at the moment. And it's, I don't know how guys do like 100 to 120 mile a week. I mean, I'm on 60 and I'm wiped out. So I dread to think what I'd be like doubling that. Daddy wearing? Spikes. Is he wearing spikes? No. Trainers make you run faster. What do you think of Daddy's session so far? Um, Is he running really well or not so well? Not so well. Is he a bit slow today? Yeah. Very good go. was 15 by 300 no 15 by 400 in spikes and we did three sets of five and it was the first time in spikes for quite a while so we averaged um then we averaged 60s yeah but no we did average 60 for all of it um, and i think the final one got down to about 56 but a huge milestone because i haven't been in spikes for like months now hello he's saying hello where are you going back to
You see now, back to the question of was it a good idea moving house six months before the Olympics? And the the instant reaction is always no, but the the reality is is it's sort of it's times like now that I sort of realise that I'm really reaping the rewards. Normally I'd finish my, my track session or tempo session, wherever it may be, and then I go into the gym, I do my gym session, and then I've got an hour drive home as well as the hour then drive into to training. But now I've got that sort of freedom to just be able to just go home now, 50 minute drive and really reap the rewards of my training because I'm just having to really minimize the time spent traveling, which mean, means I can maximize the time I spend spend training. And it's all about, I think whether you're younger or older, or whatever level you are, you've got to do what's best for your performance if you're trying to, if you've got a big target and whatever that target is, I think you just have to be mindful that performance has to take the top of the pecking order regardless of your lifestyle if you're trying to achieve something and for me training for the olympics i had to put performance first and it meant that we had to endure a ton of stress the last few weeks but i feel like now i'm starting to reap the rewards and it's taken a little while but yeah i think the last few weeks has made a huge huge difference i know i've made the right move